Shall I go? Okay. Um, Is your button up or down? It should be up. Up or down? Up. Okay. Um, okay, good evening. Um, or maybe almost good morning. Uh, Chairman Keeble. Uh, Vice Chair Acosta. Yes, morning. It's good morning. It's now a two day. It's now a two day hearing. Uh, Representative Ayello, um, O'Grady, um, McEntee, and Philippi. Nice to meet you. Um, you've. My name is Jeff Prasowski. You've heard now from 88 organizations, a cardiac anesthesiologist, former House reps, a Purple Heart. Veterans, rabbis, experts from the NRA, RICAGV, the Attorney General's Office, firearms manufacturers, lawyers, doctors, um, a mayor, uh, a commissioner, and a chief. I've been listening from the Senate Gallery. Uh, and that now you'll hear from a musician. I've lived in Providence for 14 years of my 31. I would like to tell you a personal story. Um, Six years ago, my, my brother Neil died on impact in a car accident at the age of 17, the day before his high school graduation. Uh, I, don't, I was on tour at the time um, with my band. I don't blame the driver who was a reckless operator. I don't blame my brother who chose to joyride. And I don't blame the car, which was dangerous. Today is not about placing blame for horrible accidents that happen to us and the people we love. Today, rather, we should come together as a united assembly of Rhode Island citizens and representatives, all who validate our constitutional Second Amendment rights to pass important and historic legislation. And I'm speaking tonight in support of House Bill 7199, 7243, 7283. And though I support all three of those bills, as well as I learned tonight by listening, um, Bill 7575, I will use my time to argue for the magazine bill. On April 17th, 2013, senators, our senators from Rhode Island, White House and Reed, both voted for Senator Feinstein's bill in the US Senate to reinstate the federal assault weapons ban that had sunsetted nine years earlier under the Bush administration, a bill she introduced in response to Sandy Hook. That bill died due to partisan climate due to a partisan climate with a vote of 60-40. Our own representative, David Cicilline, too, has repeatedly supported reauthorizing this federal assault weapons ban in the House. Um, the bill before you, number 7199, is in essence the sunsetted provision, sun risen again, but without the teeth of the original bill that named specific assault weapons, defined and outlawed them, and was supported by our Rhode Island congressmen as their votes attest. But perhaps their support is not convincing enough. In the long view, as Darren Gomes of the NRA lobby mentioned earlier tonight, uh, it took three assassination attempts on US presidents to prompt Congress to adopt the gun control measures in the last century. For example, the National Firearms Act of 1934 were, was passed after shots were fired on FDR and the mayor of Chicago killed as a bystander. The Gun Control Act of 1968, 34 years later, was passed in response to JFK's assassination. And most recently, the Brady Bill of 1993, named after wounded press secretary Jim Brady, was passed in response to the shots fired at President Reagan 12 years earlier in 1981. Are Sandy Hook and Emanuel Church not enough reason to act again? Must we wait for another even more horrific incident before we act? As Representative James Langevin said, my accident happened in what should have been one of the safest places to be, in a police station at the hands of trained police officers more guns are not the answer. I thank you for your time, and I submit 24 copies of this testimony for official record. Thank you.